is a real thing. This is not a toy. <laughs> right. You know, I mean, like, so it's we're, potential we're obviously, to fire. obviously we're only f used blanks out there, you know yeah. what I mean? But yeah. this, this is, this is an actual, like, this, this is the real thing. <laughs> right, cool. You know. Start with your, just run up with your kit, so your boots. Um, yeah, the, boot, the boots are basic, um, jungle boots, really, with the, uh, little fence on the, on the side so if, if you go through the swamped areas um, or anything that you know they fill up with water yeah. they're designed to drain, drain, to drain out. out oh right and um, obviously you know they dry quick although it is good to have a, uh, a change of socks and other supplies and foot powder that's necessary to keep everything in good good health um, but let's say as, as for our basic uniform, um, this is what's called the third third pattern. You've got a, a, a first pattern and a second pattern, but this is the third pattern. It's just basically um, like the pockets. There, instead of like on a lot of garments, a lot of there where they're straight like normal pockets, but these pockets are at sort of an angle, mm -hmm. and they're just more feasible when you've got other stuff on to to get to them easier. You know, if you've got things in there. Um, other than that, this, this is the basic M, M56 webbing, uh, which we have our M16 ammo pouches. They, ta they take about four of these M16 cartridges that go in each of those. Um, we can attach our grenades to them, they clip on the side and also they have a little safety belt that goes around. Also you can put the smoke grenades on the side there or you know you can pretty much hook many things anywhere on this equipment. Oh, that's um, the colour? Yeah, oh, that's, right. that's red smoke. Um, that's purple smoke. I mean, purple was used for various things. I mean, red was more like for landing zones, you know, um, to, to mark out where they used to land the helicopters. Or also it was used to uh, mark out where, where the enemy were positioned and stuff. Oh. So they had various colours, smokes of different things. Um, this is a, a first aid bandage, which is designed, it's upside down so you can open a pouch quickly. It's just a basic bandage for any entrance or exit wounds that you might receive. Um, and this is a, uh, what they call a bandola. It's basically a, um, a seven, seven pouch, uh, to carry extra extra mags. The, these are only um, resin plastic, but the basic idea is that you can carry extra ammunition with you out in the jungle. You know, so when you when you run out of your magazines, out of your magazine holders, you can actually like take them out of here. Um, apart from that, we, we have. Uh, our water, our water canisters on the side there, which are easily detachable two. to take out for our, for our water. We usually you're supposed to carry at least two bottles of water with you out there. Um, this is where the bayonet goes, which will fit on this gun. Um, but obviously, we're not allowed to have knives in the arena, so that's why that's not in there. But um, other than that, this is a uh, fully functional live firing M16 semi automatic rifle. Um, which out there I had on um, mostly single shots to conserve the ammo, mm -hmm. but I did that, I put a few, put it on auto for a few bursts. Um, which you go through the rounds a lot quicker. Um, this is a 30 round magazine, but we put about a maximum of 28 in there so that they don't. And this is a base. This is a basic 20 round magazine that. Like I say, mostly everybody has that goes in these bandolas or goes in the ammo pouches, um, but we usually put only about 18 rounds in there. Um, Get pretty quick then. Pretty quick, within seconds, really. Yeah. I mean, when I was out there, I had, I had about I had about nearly 100 rounds, and I went through them probably in about five minutes, or probably even less than that, really. It seems longer when you're actually out there, but in reality, I mean, doing single shots, pop, pop, pop here and there, you know, they do go quick, but when, as soon as you pull it on automatic, they're just, it's gone. they're gone within seconds, yeah. Yeah. And it, and it does get very hot. I made the mistake of touching a little bit at the end the other day, you know, but um, they don't take long to cool down, so you have to just be careful so with them. That's to protect your hand from getting burnt on the chamber then? Yeah, it's just a, it's just, yeah, it's just a chamber and flash cover. 
um, which which you can put your hands on. You can put your hand on there when you, when you've got the magazine. When you've got the magazine in there, like so, you, you can uh, you can you can hold on to that. That doesn't get hot. You know, you can have your hands there. Yeah. There or whatever. I mean, so, so, some people hold it like that. You know, crazy, but generally it's like this or, or it, when you're laying down it depends what's more comfortable for you but you can actually have your hand on the round there also which is okay but it's, it's this part that gets very hot change your mag how quick is it because obviously you've um, got to be good at it doing it quick well i i see these ones i, I didn't have them in my ammo pouches but if, if i've got if i've got if i've got this in right, I've got, Got the rounds in you're going like whatever just like oh it clicks out yeah like that lock it and then again like you know right. so they're quite they're, you know they're quite easy accuracy of the gun um i'd say it's I'd say it's fairly accurate more accurate on single bursts automatic they're um you know they can stray a little bit, but obviously when you're more trained to uh, use these weapons, I'm not sure, sure exactly at how many yards that they're actually accurate. Probably about two or three hundred yards, I should imagine. Yeah. Um, yeah, they're they're a pretty good basic weapon, but they did have an habit of jamming a lot. Also, um, I had the same thing happen with me the other day in battle I fired four rounds and then the gun got jammed and that was it. That was all because one of the rounds had a little dent in it, a couple of little dents in the round which completely jammed it. But like in the Vietnam conflict they were quite prone to um, get jammed a lot. The guns is jammed, what can you do about it? Not much? Not really, no. Great. <laughs> and all you can do is pass your ammo on to the other next available colleagues or wherever, you know, so <laughs> unless you get unless you're in a real battle and you get thrown another gun or something or you've got a sidearm like a, a, a small you know a small gun or something then yeah it's fine. That's basically, that's basically it apart from obviously like the tin helmet which this is quite heavy. Um, it's got like a tortoise shell kind of wooden wooden kind of inside whereas the the lid itself is tin um, it's quite heavy. I don't know if you want to feel that. Oh, it is. It's heavier than you think. You'd imagine it to be light, but they're not. They're quite heavy, and you get used to them. Once they're on, they're all right. They're not too bad, you know. But they do get a little heavy. Yeah. And this is this is original. Um, this is supposed to be like bug juice, like 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 um, when you get bitten or something like that. It's supposed to be, you know, to, to repel that. But like this is an original stuff, which is. Um, 68 or 69 dated or something or other um, and obviously with our helmets I mean like the cover the, the, the cut this cover is like 68 or 69 dated so it's a lot of our, a lot of all our stuff the only thing that my boots and my actual the main top and bottom are reproduction but all, all this other stuff like this bandola, you know, all this webbing, all these, all these other things are all actually original, you know, all original stuff.